Going home, tied for fifth. The other ones will get a shot at Absent Page. And both of them outplacing S2J. I can't believe it. That still yeah. is blowing my mind. What year is it? Dreffen outplacing <laughs> S2J. And Duff. Potentially. We'll one see how will. it goes. Yeah. Right at the start, pretty even. Dreffen just looking for aerial connections. He's just all in on getting hits. Yeah. But this could be. Yeah. Oh, oh and he dies off the top. Michael will get out of this scot free. Dude, Michael versus Sheik, I'm telling you, his rest setups versus this character are probably better than any other in the, in the roster. Yeah, I mean, it's just so good. You know, all, all it does. All it takes to get a guaranteed rest is have Sheik recover up here on yeah. stage. And if Michael's just going to hang out on the ledge, it's so good for him. Yeah, I mean. OK. Oh. What? Oh. The drill. Yeah, I'm surprised. Drill, baby, drill, though. Oh, and the fade. The aerial velocity is just so real. Yeah, he's got a good fade. And this is what is tough about Sheik's situation in this matchup, is you kind of have to use these low spaced aerials. You have to use incredible movement on the stage. And as good as, oh. Should be a stock. Yeah. If you get the grab, though, you get the forward air. Yeah. Um, oh, Dreppin, I would say, is not the fastest Sheik at mixing up his movement. He's very good at tricking you. Oh. But he's often a stationary oh. target. All right. All right. Hey, Dreffin bringing this back. See Michael turn around immediately to get the backer out to give himself some space yeah, to get on. Oh, he doesn't go for the grab ledge. Yeah, the needles turned him around, so he actually didn't have time to set it up. Which is really cool play by Dreffin. Oh, again, I guess. That's so interesting to me that Michael is just refusing to go to ledge in those situations after how well he did it on the first stock. Well, if Dreffin is coming on from high and he manages to angle the needles down, he literally can't grab the edge in time. Yeah, but he, there were a few situations where he yeah, wasn't. Yeah, yeah. He sometimes just loves smash. Yeah. yeah. He's a very unorthodox puff in a lot of ways. Yeah. Against, like, Foxes, he doesn't rest as much as you'd think. Against everybody, he doesn't grab the edge as much. Oh, we get He's a weird dude. And again, this should be a stock. Yep. Yeah, I'm surprised that Michael hasn't been able to duck under that. A little bit of, uh... Yeah, now he's ducking. <laughs> what? He literally just spent 31% ducking. Yeah, he, he's not getting anything. They're just off slapping of each other. This is the oh, two and stooges. now that that's, should be a stock. Wait. Oh, he didn't even want to get the rest. All that time, and Michael saw the way. There are a million ways that could have gone, and he saw the one where he gets the edge guard. Doctor Strange out here. He's very strange. He finds, he finds the one, the one pathway to victory. All right. I like that down tilt scooping in. Michael, oh, the crouch was so big. Oh, oh Michael just going way out there. Yeah, we saw earlier in the tournament uh, amazing down tilts from Swedish Delight versus Ginger. They're great at catching when your opponent lands just a little bit too far in front of you. Oh, and this is a stock. Oh, he didn't go for the jump rest? He had it earlier. What is he doing? <laughs> He's just, he, they're playing. <laughs> it's Mo Larry. Oh. Oh, my God. Oh, he thought that Tekken was coming. Good okay. bait. Yeah. All right, F Smash again. I don't know why he doesn't just go for these rests. He's going deep oh, now. He's trying to get to... kicked. Yeah, kick actually kills Pete, uh, Pup here. Yep. That's why he hasn't changed. Oh, oh my God, that no is a way. 16 frame grab. It is the worst grab in the game, as far as I'm concerned. Oh God, that kick! All oh, these kicks. All oh, these kicks can kill. It's like Falcon's knee, but faster. All right, he's gonna go back to Sheik. Yeah. The trade gonna work oh, out for Treffin. Oh, still vanishes to go through. 143% though against Michael's pop. This is this is oh, tough. And that ch oh, the chain actually saved him. He whips it back. Oh, is that enough? Not no. quite. That ah. one should be. Yeah, <laughs> Michael getting game one. What a set. What a game. We're in for uh, an interesting ride here, Mr. Frederick. Yeah. So, one ho. We're gonna see where he wants to go. Maybe it's gonna be Fountain. Jeffen has looked so focused in this tournament. All right. I think he all, almost always looks like that. <laughs> yeah. Okay, again, just, <laughs> it's like, if you're going to play the Jeffen style, he's going to crouch. They're both, oh my god. They play the exact same way. <laughs> they both just do nothing. <laughs> they both just do nothing, and then they, oh, I, <laughs> to think like a child thinks. What a blessing. Yep. Oh, no up tilt, or uh, no up tilt, rest, excuse me, did get the up tilt. This is oh, peak male. Wow. <laughs> Ooh, good grab. We got the slide off. Descending fair. Very crucial for Draffin to get himself some space to come back. 
Yeah. Oh, yeah. You're just so scary. If that back air connects, it's a dead puff. Wow, that drill from Ledge. Ooh, the grab out of the shield. Michael getting a little bit lazy there. Exhausting the double jump. You got to be careful. <laughs> it keeps coming down with the downers. It doesn't matter what character he's against. He loves that downer because, I mean, it's great if it hits. Still living. Oh, but Whoa. yeah, caught him a little too close to Ledge. All right, Dreffin. So on the board, Yoshi's doing work for Sheik with the early kills from back air from Ledge, from forward air from getting a grab. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, Michael gets the crouch cancel there. But that's fine if you're Dreffin. Yeah. You're trading percent. Oh, that should be a stock. Randall on the other side. Of course. We talked about this yesterday, that Fentrick yeah. is a meteorologist. He knows all the time where Randall is. Oh, these little hits. Now Randall's over there. That's oh, right. he didn't even need him. So, oh, oh man, Michael, Michael. Nice. I like that fine. last up air, and then back air wasn't gonna connect. Oh, but that should be the end of the game. All right, no, so he had another stop. Wow, he had another stop. That's all right. Whoops. Michael chill, still trying to put another one on Ooh, the board. I love that back air too. Yeah, and keeping yourself at zero is so essential there. Michael is uh, not ashamed and not. Uh, afraid of kind of just camping his way into a comeback. Yeah, oh. baby. Still living, though. I mean, that's what we see on net play all the time, but not quite enough percent on Dreffin to kill, but that's still good damage. I mean, I'll take 30%. Yeah, but it's looking very dangerous here for Michael. Oh, Dreffin. Oh, I thought it was going to be another back here, perhaps. Oh, wait, just a second. If he gets Michael's One more. Yeah, that's... Michael's playing so weird. He's playing very weird, but he's... Randall is in the building, but... Yeah, that edge of the... Side platform extends beyond the ledge of Yoshi. So good stuff by Dreffin being able to get on. Oh, he catches platform. him. <laughs> They're just flying, flying across yeah. the stage, fairing each other. All right. Volleyball back and forth. It's right. basically whichever, which is going to win, back air or slap. Nice. Oh, up smash. That's cool. All right, wait just a second. Wait a minute. It's 105%. A fair, right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a fair kill. Okay, 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 okay. From pretty much everywhere. All right. 1-1, one, one. Dreffin fighting back. All right, on to Dreamland we go. Michael versus Dreffin. <laughs> Just one little punch out of that. <laughs> Nothing! Nada! He's like a Venus flytrap. He just sits there, small, and then he steps. Yep. All right, got him off stage. Put it back on. But I like the positioning that Michael's had. He's just kept Dreffin in the corner, at least, in this early going. Ooh. He's doing a better job of catching the down airs. <laughs> what is he doing? <laughs> Nothing. He just sits there, and he takes it. Like a champ. But yeah. he's, he's got the percent lead. He's a, he's a genius. Oh, he slid off that edge cancel. With, couldn't get the second back air to connect. I feel oh, like wow. I need a giant board filled with, like, Yarn lines and pictures of Michael's crouching yeah. in like different places. That I could connect the dots and Carol, figure out. Carol, Carol, <laughs> nicely done by Michael. He's a genius. He keeps winning. Yeah. He beat S2J. There has to be some method to the madness. Oh yeah, I like that. Ooh. Trying to fade. Yeah, Look Jeffin. The backers coming in the up air. Oh enough. wow, that kill is really good from Dreffin. He's been the down tilt uh, king. Him and Swedish Delight have had a lot of great results for using that move in this uh, uh, tournament. That's, oh, where? Oh, is where he are you going? taking him? He's going deep off stage. See that turnaround? Yeah, but again, he could have just grabbed the ledge and then popped up rested. I don't think he could grab the edge. He's facing the wrong way. Oh, the tomahawk by Treffin. Oh, just outside. Yeah, let's see. Ooh, having to go deep, that's really tough. Yeah. All right, F Smash is still living though. Oh, just kidding. <laughs> I thought that was incredible DI. Yeah, that was really good DI. I, but, and it was the farthest distance that that forward smash could have sent him on. It was a journey. Okay. Oh, oh wow, what a quick back air out by Draft. That was right. huge. Yeah, and Michael often outspacing Dreffin when he does the low aerials. Oh, God. Yeah, he, Dreffin was looking like he was hunting for that fair and, and for that up air, too. But yeah. Smart stuff not to go totally overcommittal with it. Oh. Okay, down we go and out. Oh, wow. Is Michael too high percentage? Oh, okay. that was so That's sick. sick. But he got oh, there. no. Dreffin got there first. 
Sheik so fast at the vertical recovery that poor Puff, the last couple jumps are lower than yeah. the early ones, and so that prevented Michael from getting back to ledge. Wow, and what a swing. That could have been a three stock to one lead for Dre uh, for Michael. Now Dreffin up, or not up, to tie the game up. Yeah. That's going to do it for the stock. Not the greatest DI. Michael just got to grab the ledge. Yep. Yeah. And as long as Dreffin is below him, that is so free. Grab the edge. You're, you're done. Okay. Dreffin making great use of needles to try to just rack up percent. Force Michael to come to him. Moving around, driving shield. Oh, I thought we were maybe going to see the rest. Yeah, that was a very risky down smash as Michael's content to just start trading. Scoops him up. Yeah, not quite a kill yet. Another fair at this spot will do it. Oh, you see Dreffin looking like the back air was coming. Oh, oh that's going to do it. That was supposed to be a oh, Michael wait Wispy. A second, Wispy. Wispy. I think it's, yeah, it's still, still a kill, but that was amazing. Wispy Woods rocking with Chicago and Michael. That was crazy. What a betrayal. All right, this is so close. Game three, pivotal. Dreffin got a slightly. We all know that Michael has the tool set to bring this immediately to a close. If he can get one up tilt or one yeah. edge guard. It looked so good for Michael, has now changed. Oh yeah, the needles. Good stuff by Dreffin. Tide's turning and Dreffin now in a great spot again. He's just so good versus Michael from this position. Yeah, he just throws out auto cancel fails. Auto cancel fares yeah. right there. And that's, that's what enough. We were saying. At above 100, it's like trying to come back from the edge. If you get fared, there is not much hope to live. Michael down now, 2-1 versus the gatekeeper from Ohio himself. And they're going to go back to Dreamland. Right. Just feeling each other out. It's kind of similar to what we've seen every game where they're just winding the trade percents as quickly as possible. Oh, there's some movement from Dreffin. I haven't yeah. seen that kind of movement. The late aerials really working out for Dreffin because the early ones, Michael's just been crouching, finding a way around. Yeah. I love okay. that dash deck and the track down. The fact that Dreffin with like Sheik's movement is able to keep on Michael, who has all these jumps, all this aerial mobility, Got and keep the pressure up is so, so impressive. All right, so Dreffin... After dropping game one, has looked really good here in games two and three. Yeah. Just holding center. Oh, and that's a big back air. Man, yep. the Michael fans in the audience are growing quieter. Oh, and, and the quieter. reverse fares. And that's Doesn't a stop. Yeah. I love that. Instead of going for something high risk, you know, he's at such high percent, you don't really need to look Ooh. for rest in that situation. So the fair was brilliant. See, Michael, he crouches. And he just takes it, though. But you, if you crouch those hits, you have to do something, right? You can't just sit there and take the percent. I think he's waiting for Dreffin to, like, miss space so that he can get a rest. Because that's basically the risk reward, I think, in Michael's head, is if he messes up taking this free damage off of Crouch, I just kill him. Uh, but that hasn't happened. Okay. Got oh, him. Five percent. Count it. Dreffin. Yeah, Michael running away, but Dreffin. Yeah, one pair. Yeah. Finds his way, finds his aerial. Okay, a little bit safer. Michael knows, yeah. He had to fight his way to the center stage. He had to basically eat that to avoid it being in a spot where it kills him. Wow, that reverse fair was sick by Dreffin. He has just gotten so much mileage off there. Yeah. Both in just low percent neutral situations. I feel like he hasn't struggled really at all to grab Michael when he wants it. It's sometimes a little bit tougher than it would be versus other characters, but yeah. he has He's been read. crouching on all the aerials by Dreffin and not by the grab setups, which is typically when you want to do that. That was the first one, but he was looking the wrong way. Yeah. See, and even there, it's like his punish, what is it, down air? You had your moment. You're crouching. I like them. Yep. Up and down, up and down. All right, a little bit of a lull as Michael takes the center stage. He's trying to use oh. a slight advantage to fight his way back in the game. We've seen him earlier uh, fight his way back yeah. in sets from positions where he's down a lot of percent, literally just by out camping his opponents, being more patient, taking trades, and knowing that he can live to like 150. But the way Dreppin has been playing where he gets these fares near the ledge, he doesn't need to live that long. He can kill him at 100. Oh, oh yeah, got him. Is that enough? No, not from center stage. So that's what Michael has to be doing. Yeah. 
And that's the thing is Michael's like traditional way of getting back in the game is you hug the ledge and wait for your opponent to make a mistake. But like if that's where Drevin has been at his best, then you're in checkmate a little bit. Yeah. Unless he comes up with a new Rest. plan. Oh, he went for it. But this is not that bad. Yeah. yeah so he went from 7 to 29. 22% punish. And again, you have to make a style of play like that to win this game. Because Drevin yeah. is just dominating in terms of the neutral and just edge guarding. And I think he has like 40% left before a charged up smash kills on this stage. So he could go for another rest. Drevin making it hard for him. Ooh, there's a grab. I like the back throw. Just can't find the coverage. He's usually been really good at edge guarding when Drevin's from uh, at below, but when Drevin has to jump, it makes it a lot easier. Okay. Looked like that might have been the one opportunity for Michael Ooh. to read that jump, get it back here, but <laughs> he just keeps trading. Oh, no! oh! The Nair He's from He's trying Drevin. to get him high in the air, Drevin. Now close to the percent where he can close him off using the right part of the stage. Oh, the drill actually knocked down. Not going to do it, though. Yeah, Michael keeps being forced to use these aerials that aren't oh, enough. That was what a the huge hell? Mistake. Wait, is he just trying to get the kill? Was this intentional? I don't think so, yeah. I don't think so either, but uh, I would love it if it was. No, it's not. F smash or up smash? I mean, that's what Ice did way back in the day when he yeah. was a Sheikman. He would switch to Zelda for the last stock. All right, Michael, got to find a, a kill here. Drefin, one stock. Oh, oh, my God! Oh. He got it! He gets what the up the there hell? rest! He clutches it out to send it to game five. A room and two casters who are quiet. The Michael stock was at an all-time low. Unbelievable clutch performance right there by Michael. And now game five, Pokemon Stadium. Michael in game five again. Yeah, he is. he's seen a lot of them. Oh. Oh. Just keeps resetting. All right, he's picking up the pace a little bit. Drefin's turn to match. Gets the oh, needles yeah. and the down smash. Oh, there's a good, I was gonna say, that's a punish opportunity. All right. But Drefin is immediately, like, he doesn't want to give Michael the opportunity to come down and meet him with a fair or a back air. So he gets up so quickly to get to the ledge. My board with Yarn is, is just getting more complex by the minute. <laughs> he was losing, like, the whole game. Yeah. And All then, it takes is one. Yeah. You're losing until, you you know? Oh, great little down tilt to scoop him up. Michael's trying to fade in with an air. Maybe that's not having it. Maybe that's how we can uh, characterize Michael. He's oh. losing until he wins. That's what you got to do. And oh. F smash, great DI mix up. And do it again. Yeah. yeah. Definitely has tons of time. Michael looking a lot faster here. Jeffin, though, at kill percent against Michael with the fair from this side of the stage. He can keep Michael in this spot. Oh, oh, oh. my God. Playing with fire there. Oh! Yeah, he is. Welcome to net play. And he does. It's still a kill, yeah. yeah it is a kill, but that is a kill that Michael will take 10 times out of 10. Unbelievable, just waiting in the face of Drefin. Oh, Drefin with a great start, though, to trying to bring it back. But now it's back to the trade war. Trade war is not good for Drefin oh, here. He power shields the first hit of down smash, but does get hit by one of the later hits. Oh, God. So dangerous with Sheik just burning those double jumps above Puff. The pressure is so intense on Drefin right now. What went from like a very comfortable standard game, you have your game plan that keeps working, has now become a huge question mark. See Michael just with the back turn. Ooh, I love the down tilt, but at this percent, it's not going to lead to much from Drefin. Oh, God, too low. Oh, just oh, oh he misses. All right, this will be fine. Oh, he gets yeah. the up air, though. Never mind. I thought that great DI by Michael. Thought the fair was going to hit, but he was going to be okay, but yeah, Drefin once, immediately getting there. At that high percent, once Michael gets grabbed, it is definitely the mix-up between up air and fair. Ooh, love that tech, but Michael's still in control. Yeah, there are some needles in there making things a little confusing. Right. Nice. I love the drill. Covering the spot dodge. Okay, yeah. Uh, uh, crouch. Just, oh, and he gets there. Crouching Ooh. tiger hidden puff. And now Michael one stock away from the comeback and a shot of absent page in loser semifinals. There was no puff more hidden than the Netflix King himself. It's a, uh, this is a dramatic turnaround. Oh, if he nice. had crouched the first hit, he could have popped in there after. Yeah. He still just has all these traps. No. That is not the right move. I think he was probably going for a, a pound there. Oh, not enough. The up air did not connect. Michael finds his way back to the ground. Drefin, who had previously been really good at tracking down that aerial movement. He's got to find that again. Oh, yeah. and there it is. Last yeah, he stock. finds it. Another last stock, game five. Our third one of the top eight so far. It is Drefin and Michael.
Let us know who you've got. This is an ideological battle <laughs> and right. by, of two people with the same ideology. All right, Draffin gets the needles. They're more than happy to just wait out this transformation. The crowd going crazy. It's like a title match. The slow zoom in on Michael. 41 billion trillion. The, the mouth is one of those. Got the wide open. Quintillion. Oh, Draffin. Septillion. But it's Drevin and Drevin. Oh, the missed full complement of needles. So now if he throws any, it's just going to be one or two hits. Oh, he gets Whoa. a pick here. That's the first one, and he's got the stage control. He gets the crouch. I think that's okay if you're Michael. It's a lot of percent. He's still just waiting. He's waiting for Drevin to come to him. Against that F throw. Onto the ledge we go, but oh. Drevin sneaks his way back out. Drevin at the corner, finds a throw. Oh, oh that's it! Forward smash! It's, it's not quite it! Oh. Zelda! Oh, he escapes! Oh, no way. And a dash attack! It's Zelda or nothing! It's Zelda or nothing! He doesn't have time to change unless Michael gives it to him. And Michael's still hovering in that zone. He's got to kill him oh. with Zelda, Bendy! Oh, my God. Right above. No! Thrown out of the stage when he makes it to the ledge. Electing to just go to ledge as Zelda rather than transform back into Sheik. Is that Up enough? There. Yes! Michael! Michael. Absolutely unbelievable, the comeback in game four and the presence of mind to stay calm in game five. And he is top four, outplacing Duck, outplacing Drefin, outplacing SJ. He already has a win over Nintendo, he has a win over SJ and a win over Drefin. That is an unbelievable performance by the new king of Chicago, Michael41, Google. How do, how He's so he, many zeros. How does he do it? That's so I insane. I don't know, man. I don't know. I, and that was like... I was really happy with how Drevin was playing the Sheik matchup. He was getting grabs that, you know, even though Michael was so crouch heavy, he was finding his way into advantages. Mm -hmm. what, a, wow. what, what an insane set. Unbelievable.